Five, four, three, two, one, coming up next. Hi YouTubers and my chambers everywhere, it's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Well this time around it's the 54321 challenge. Now viewers asked me to take part in the 54321 challenge and I had to give it some thought and I'm ready to give you my selections. But what is the 54321 challenge? Well that's for a wet shaver to name their five favorite shaving soaps. Their four favorite aftershaves, three favorite shaving brushes, two favorite razors, and their favorite razor blade. So let's get right to it. My five favorite shaving soaps in the number five position is Cello Red. Boy, I love this stuff a lot. Great almond cherry scent, makes heaps of lathers in a snap. Terrific, terrific stuff. I like it so much, I even bought a big brick of it. It is terrific. Uh, you can cut off a hunk of that and put it in your own shaving bowl if you want to like this a lot. Uh, I also like their new Cella Green. This is really good too. So when this is not on my counter, this one is usually there. But Cella Red, yeah. Uh, tallow base, so I like it slightly better than the Cella Green. But Cella Red in my number five position. In my number four position, another Italian soap, Parasso Green. Boy, I love this a lot. This was love at first use. Love the menthol and eucalyptus vibe getting that, it, that it has. Just absolutely terrific. Like Cello Red, this is also a crope, it's not a hard soap. So you can whip it up in a shaving bowl or you can do a face lather with it. That's what I tend to do. Just load a little bit on my brush, do a face lather. Great lather, great slickness, great glide. And again, I like the menthol and eucalyptus. Now I like everything that Parasso has. I also like their Parasso White for sensitive skin and their uh, Parasso Red, which is sandalwood. So I like both of those, but if I had to pick one of the three, it would be Parasso Green every single time. In my number three slot, Près du Provence. Boy, this is wonderful. Made in France, triple milled, has a beautiful, beautiful fresh scent. Now this is a hard, hard soap, and it is very, very hard. And look, I've had it about a year and a half, and I use it quite often and I've barely made a dent here. And it, it's absolutely wonderful stuff. I don't believe it's tallow based, as I recall. And uh, it has just got a great scent, makes a great lather. Play the Buffon's in my number three slot, like it a lot. In my number two slot, well, Mitchell's Wool Fat. Boy, this is terrific. I've got a lot of use out of it. This is my second puck. And you can see I used it just the other day. Great glide, great slickness, fresh scent, has lanolin in it, just wonderful moisturizers and skin protectors. Like it a lot. And I also like the ceramic bowl that comes in in a loose, loose fitting lid. Uh, been around since 1893, so you know they're doing something right. Love Mitchell's Wolf Fat in my number two slot. Before I tell you my number one shaving soap, an honorable mention goes out to TRA. Jim from Northfield sent this to me. This is wonderful stuff uh, purchased on eBay. This is great. Has an absolutely wonderful, wonderful scent. It's a honey citrus kind of a thing going on. Love this shaving soap. The lather is not thick or dense or Santa beard like. It's a little softer, uh, a little thinner, but boy, there's great slickness and great glide. I get a great, wonderful shave from this. So yeah, this is terrific, but it doesn't really fall in the same category as some of these other soaps where you get a thick, dense Santa beard kind of lather. But my honorable mention, TRA, you can get these on eBay, like it a lot. My number one shaving soap is Tabak. You know, whenever a wet shaver asks me, what shaving soap should I try? I'm new to wet the traditional wet shave. I always tell them Tabak, Tabak, Tabak. Got a great old school barbershop scent. Lathers up in a snap. It's a harder soap. Love this milk white ceramic bowl that it comes in. Loose fitting lid. Looks great on the counter. Just gives you a great, great shave. Wonderful protection. Big thick lather. Good glide. Good slickness all around. This is terrific. I can do a face lather with this in the morning without even having to worry about a pre-shave oil. This is great stuff, Tava. All right, let's go to my aftershaves, my four favorite aftershaves. Now, the aftershaves 
it looks like it's a Clubman clean sweep, almost. And I love the Clubman products. And I'm, I dare say if I had tried a few other uh, scented aftershaves, it might have been a clean sweep. In my number four position is Clubman Whiskey Woods. Boy, I like this a lot. This has really grown on me. Terrific scent, um, kind of old school, like it a lot. It does have a little bit of a whiskey flavor to it, but yeah, I like it. I especially like it after using the TRA shave soap. Something going on there. These two really complement one another. So yeah, my number four slot is Whiskey Woods from Clubman. My number three slot is uh, Clubman Virgin Bay Rum. Boy, this is great. I know there are a lot of other top shelf Bay Rums out there, but this one is plentiful. It's affordable. I can buy it locally just by going into Discount Drug Mart in Northeast Ohio like this a lot and it's got a great bay rum scent and it stays with me probably uh one two o'clock in the afternoon i'll just get a little waft of it coming back really nice i like this a lot my number two slot of course clubman Pinot, the original a classic classic scent this is terrific stuff again this was another one that i fell in love with after first use. Really like it a lot. Again, I can buy it locally. It's plentiful. It's affordable. I can use it every day and not break the bank. That's why I like the Clubman products. In my number one slot, here it is, Avon Wild Country. I like this a lot. It was given to me as a gift years ago and it, 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 it stayed. I mean, the scent stayed there. It was in a glass bottle. I couldn't believe it. When I came back to the traditional wet shave, I cracked it open. Absolutely wonderful. And what's nice is they also make an aftershave balm that has the same scent. So I can kind of get a one-two punch. Now they did make this again temporarily last year and I grabbed three new bottles. And I also have maybe three or four new old stock bottles. So I'm stocked up. And again, they're not making it as regularly as, regularly as I'd like to see them make it. Uh, but it's definitely my number one pick, uh, and I like it a lot, and hopefully they'll start making it again. All right, my three favorite shaving brushes. Well, you know what? These are the newer brushes that I've been using. I find them on my counter. Uh, this is what I'm always going to uh, in the morning, and they're right there, so I can just grab them and go. And I guess probably I'm using them more often than the other brushes because they're newer and uh, they're new to my rotation. In the number three slot is the West Coast Shaving Honeycomb Handled Synthetic Brush. And yeah, I'm a big fan of synthetic brushes. I like this one a lot. I love the pattern on the handle. Uh, nice backbone, good softness, makes a great lather. Love this, West Coast Shaving uh, Honeycomb Handled uh, Shaving Brush, synthetic knot, really, really terrific. And my number two slot, is the new Simpson T3 Trafalgar Synthetic Shaving Brush. 26 millimeter knot, 55 millimeter loft. Boy, I like this a lot. And it's nice to finally have a Simpson brush in my collection. Simpson brushes are known the world over and uh, they can be rather pricey, but this was a synthetic knot uh, shaving brush that was very affordable and from from their factory to my front door with shipping was about 40 bucks, and I really appreciated that. So yeah, I finally have a Simpson shaving brush. It's a synthetic knot. I use this very often. Nice softness, good backbone, does a nice job of exfoliating the skin and lifting the beard. The Simpson shaving brush, like it a lot. Before I give you my number one pick, honorable mention goes to a couple of board brushes that I recently got. The Omega 10006. Boy, this was really surprising. A great, great board brush. And I'm a synthetic brush fan. But yeah, if I if there were no synthetic brushes out there, this would be my top pick. This would definitely be my top pick. If not this one, then it would be the uh, Omega Professional board brush. And unfortunately, the label has worn off because I have been using it and soaking it in the sink. And this is terrific. It is labeled on the bottom. Uh, really big, big brush, great for lathering the head when I do a head shave, and very, very soft. Both of these, very, very soft brushes 
which is why I like it. So they get the honorable mention because I've been reaching for those in the morning as well. Okay, now it's time for my number one shaving brush pick. And if you have viewed this channel, you're gonna know it's the Vikings Blade Fire Mare Synthetic Shaving Brush. Boy, I love this shaving brush. Again, it's another piece of shaving gear that I love from first use. Love the size of the handle, the weight, perfect for home or travel, wonderful backbone, beautiful softness, actually feels like a natural hair shaving brush. Doesn't even feel like a synthetic. Absolutely love this shaving brush. It's absolutely terrific. The Vikings Blade Fire Mare, my number one pick for shaving brush. All right. My two favorite razors. Well, here they are. If, again, if you view my channel, you know that it's going to be the Vikings Blade Chieftain and also the Vikings Blade Chieftain 5BC. Now, this, these are neck and neck. The Chieftain was the razor that brought me back to the traditional wet shape. Love it. Love the weight. Love the size. It's smooth. It just gives me such a smooth, efficient shape. I like the fact that the razor head encloses the end tabs, and when I came back in a traditional wet shape, I was really happy about that so that I wasn't going to be tagging myself when I was flipping the razor back and forth, you know, maybe hitting the nostril or an earlobe, something like that. Absolutely wonderful, but I love this. It gives me a smooth, comfortable shave every time, very efficient, and uh, I can't say enough good things about it. But the 5BC, the Chieftain 5BC, is heavier. It has a new knurling pattern on the handle. Uh, the razor head is a little more compact, so you will get a little bit of the uh, end tabs exposed a little bit, but it's more maneuverable. It's got more weight and heft. And again, it does such a great job with giving me a smooth, efficient shave that these two really do run neck and neck. But the 5BC is absolutely wonderful, and uh, the original Chieftain, that's great. I wish I could break this category down to my favorite, my two favorite twist open razors, my two favorite three-piece razors, my two favorite two-piece razors, my two favorite adjustable razors. That would really tell the tale. Uh, and I think I might do a video like that uh, down the road. All right, my favorite razor blade. Well. You know what, before I give you my favorite razor blade, I gotta give you my two honorable mentions. I got them right over here. Uh, my first honorable mention goes to the Persona Blue that come out of Israel. Boy, these are terrific. I like these a lot. They're my big bowl of blades. And again, this is one that I reach for. Uh, love them. Uh, I got a whole bunch of them and uh, they give me a great shave. Mild, sharp, efficient, like them a lot. The other one that I reach for quite often is the Astra Greens. These are terrific. I like them a lot. Uh, again, I find them to be on the mild side, a little more aggressive than the Persona Blues, but very sharp and give me a terrific shape. But my number one pick overall for a blade, and the reason why I'm picking this one is because I'm just about out of them. I use these all the time. That is the Vikings Blade Mild Razor Blade. These are smooth, mild, and sharp. If you have coarse hair, they make a specific blade for you with coarse hair, but my hair is not coarse. My skin and beard and whisker border on the sensitive side, so that's why I like these. Nice and mild, efficient, smooth, and I can get a good, solid five shaves out of these blades and I'm nearly out. <laughs> and when I took stock of all the blades I have, hey, you know what? I gotta get some more of these because I've just about used them all up. All right, so that's it. That's my five, four, three, two, one list. I hope you liked it. Uh, I sure did. It, uh, it's great sharing that with you. And uh, well, sometime, sometime down the road, I'll probably amend this and update it as uh, other soaps and razors, etc., come in. I got some sterling soap coming in, so that might make the list and uh, throw a couple of these uh, aside and maybe the sterling will make the list in the top five. We'll see. Well, hey, thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Uh, comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic from George, other cartoons, other videos like this. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. 
Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Radio where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.